little blurry. I wiped it off. Maybe it's your glasses. It doesn't look blurry to me. Come here. campers how are you doing we're doing great it's a beautiful Saturday morning the Sun is shining Alexa what's the weather outside let's see she answered you in the room. she answered me in a different room so that doesn't help Alexa what's the weather outside currently in birch run it's 35 degrees Fahrenheit clear skies and sun. that Sun is deceiving Okay, so it still looks like a beautiful day even though it's only 35 degrees outside. A little while ago, I asked Carrie if she thought it would be cool to take Harrison to Build-A-Bear. We've never taken him there before and I I don't know what's at Build-A-Bear, but I think you can build other things besides bears, right? They have other stuffed animals. Like it's not just a bear? No, I think they have like a baby Yoda right now. So do you think there's any like Toy Story type know. things? I'm not sure. Man, I wish I could find build him a Wreck-It Ralph right now. I'm going to wreck it. He does love Wreck-It Ralph right now. I think it's neat. I mean, we try to introduce him to other things. Like, we've tried to do Frozen just because we like it. We've tried to do um, Monsters, Inc. He's not completely sold or unsold. Yeah, he... Doesn't mind Monsters Inc. But right. he, like chooses it. He has a choice. He's really not fond of the old Disney movies either. He likes the beginning of Lion King. The beginning, yeah. The beginning. How far has he been into it though? Oh, there's so many scary parts in there. He is like, very sensitive. Scar is very scary. Yeah. He's so evil. And then Mufasa dies. Spoiler alert. Okay. <laughs> so, I just want to, if you're going to do a spoiler alert, you might want to do it before. But at this point, if somebody hasn't seen Lion King, exactly, that's kind of on them. Yeah. But. Spoiler alert, you've missed out on life. <laughs> okay. If that was offensive, I apologize. It was. But. Somebody might not have seen it. I actually, if, if you haven't seen it, let us know down below. Yeah. I'm curious. Because I'm quite certain you haven't missed out on life. It's just one movie. Now, if there are two, we'll talk later. Movies, so don't, don't let Tiffany make it feel bad. Whatever. So anyway, I had to turn this on because I am uploading or rendering right now our video from yesterday. Carrie did a gender prediction kit. She got the same result five times before we even filmed it. Then we filmed it, got a six same result. And then she had me do it, and I got the same result. So definitely check out that video. I'm going to try like heck to put a card up. Um, I'll at least have it linked at the end of the video if I forget. But it was it's really cute. I, I don't know if we'll get a chance to do any more of these. Um, maybe we will before we know uh, the baby's actual, actual gender or... Sex. Uh, sex, not gender, I apologize. I'm going to leave that in there too because... You guys know that I do speak kind of quickly and make mistakes, and there's nothing wrong with making that mistake and just fixing it. So, yes, uh, assigned sex at birth would be the technical term uh, for that one. Um, but as you guys know, just in case any questions are asked, we will be operating um, with whatever sex is assigned at birth. That is the uh, gender we will be going with at that time until we hear otherwise from our baby so and everyone is different and that is okay but that is what we're going with same thing we did with harrison but you guys know if harrison one day wants to start wearing different clothes or do different things that aren't stereotypical to um his uh 
outward gender, then we will go with whatever he wants. So anyway, we did that yesterday. We had so much fun. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. But uh, anyway, I don't know what we're gonna do today. It's one of those days where it does look so nice out and it is a little bit warmer than it has been. I think yesterday it was like 19 degrees or 10 degrees. Yeah, we're supposed to get some snow. So I'm, I'm thinking that if, if all things go well, we'll try to take him somewhere today. If not, maybe we'll try to take him somewhere um, tomorrow because I don't really have a lot going on myself this weekend. I have a lot of like administration stuff to do. But as far as like being home, being at the computer, as um, for right now, it's kind of like one of those sort of up in the air weekends and I'd love to spend some time Thank with you. the family. So one more thing I wanna quickly throw in, and I apologize if this is getting a little too wordy. Um, we have a lot of new campers watching, so I don't wanna... So for those of you who think we don't ever have a screaming child, of course we do because he's a child. At the current moment, he wants to take every single fork out of the silverware drawer and put them on the floor. Obviously, we don't want him to do that, so we're redirecting, and that's the end result. So, and that's okay, because kids cry. Kids scream, kids get upset. But anyway, for all of new campers in here, welcome. Thank you so much for giving us a chance and hanging out with us. We have a great group of people. We have some great mods in here who are watching all the time, making sure that everything is running smoothly. Um, our vlogs are very different. We haven't had a chance to do a lot of challenges, but we love them. Um, we've been kind of indoors a lot lately because I'm working on my dissertation. I'm being an intern. We have a child and we have another one on the way. So we haven't been able to get outdoors quite a bit because also it has been cold. But I promise you, um, our vlogs are not always in the house, but they have in been the for, in the winter time, yeah, they are. and. And there are quite a few times, because I've been in the school process, that they've been um, kind of in the house. But we try to do different things if we can. But anyway, welcome, and be sure to say hi. Um, you want to be shy, that's cool, but when you get the, you know, the motive that, like, push to say hi, say hi. I'm sure that people will say hi back. Look at this. We are watching All Things Dirt right now. And their little guy is so cute. So check them out at All Things Dirt. So let's start with him. Yeah? How's that apple treating you, bud? Me, me, me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he can't see. Oh, you want me to put it back on yeah. on the ladies? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. He wanted to see himself eating the apple. He loves his apples. Yeah, I know. They put Theo down. So now you can't even see him. Yeah. 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 Last night we were trying to put Harrison to bed and he cried and said, Apple, Apple, Apple. And we're realizing very quickly it's his tactic to stay awake. Yes. You just want to stay awake because you're going to miss us. Oh, Rue Bear, you know you're not supposed to be on the table. But anyway, we're going to enjoy this apple. But I just wanted to show you real quick that he just loves watching little Theo. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question, babe. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are asking because of the little sign over there that reads five weeks. Yes. Why were five weeks when everything points to we should be about three weeks, a little over three weeks right now? So they don't, it's really hard to tell for most people mm -hmm. when the actual conception date is, right? Because for people who, <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> Well, that was a cough. Wow, we. So, like, we went in and we knew the date that, like, things probably happened. Sure. But just because we went on that date doesn't mean it happened that day. It could have happened the next day. And there's no real way to tell. So, what they do is they base how far along you are based on the first day of your last period. Yeah. Excuse me. So the first day of my last period was like January 15th or something. I, I mean, that's just spitballing. Yeah. So that's why I am five weeks. All right. If we, if they did do it off of conception date, 
yes, it would be three weeks, but they do it off of last period because not a lot of people know when they conceive. So it's easier to do the date of the last period. Right. So I think that's a great explanation. So when she keeps saying they don't know when they, if, if people are actively having, you know, intercourse, yeah. You know, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day. You can't really tell when right. things got rolling. But for us, mm -hmm. obviously we know, but they yeah. still operate under the same as everyone else. Yes. So they add oh, okay. they add that two weeks. Yes. So that's why. Mm -hmm. So just to clear that up, um, I love Jeannie's comment about it. She wrote, I be confusion. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, we better really, really explain this instead of just... Um, you know, writing down uh, or just commenting to people and trying to fix them. You. Well, yes. he can just pull that right off, can he? Yes, he can. Oh, Good that little guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Oh, so you're busy on the 11th, huh? Of February? <laughs> she just walked over and said, oh, well, we only have one week left. No big deal. That's right. Are you trying to draw a heart? Where's your heart, buddy? Where's your heart? Boom, 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 boom. Good job. It's Papa. Hey, Harrison. Mommy loves you. Good job, bud. This marker is... Why is he doing left hand? I mean, he can. He, I just, the way he holds it, if he holds it in his right hand, it looks more natural. Yeah. He does do, 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 do. most stuff right-handed. Yeah. Because he's closer with his left hand. Sure. He can reach more. Wow, bud, you're it's busy. Really... Mondays are out for you, huh, son? Yeah. It's not really about what's more comfortable, I think, at this point. It's about what gives him easier access. Sure. Oh, man, Tuesdays now? Ugh, when wow. are we ever going to do anything? Whoa. Oh, no, don't you take my Saturdays, boy. Yay. No. Not my Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Look at that beautiful lady. Hmm. Yeah. You, you okay? are quite beautiful. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Uh we are out of the house. So look at that. It We are. It came true. Okay. Our, our little like the, earlier today I said we'll get out of the house one day. Oh. So we have some stops to make. Carrie and I are at the wonderful local Don's food land the best meat and produce around yeah. our area. Oh, yeah. So if you live in in this area, you should definitely come check it out. <laughs> we always said we were going to make a commercial for this place. We should do it one time. I can't. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry. I know. She's hungry. <laughs> I am taking her to get some Qdoba today. Mm -hmm. uh, she says the baby wants Qdoba. Yeah. That's what the baby wants. So are we going to have... That's what this baby wants. <laughs> We're actually going to... We wanted to try it out. We Not try it out. We, we haven't been there in a while. But um, I was feeling... I, I just... I've been craving like a Qdoba burrito for a while. So we've been doing really good at sticking to our meal plan at home and everything like that. So I guess today is our day out and about to venture. Yeah. Um, we are going to... We didn't have the breadcrumbs we needed here. So we got to go to Big Box store and pick up some panko. Uh, one of the meals that Carrie made from HelloFresh. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely delicious. Requires panko breadcrumbs. Yes, and I don't think it would be the same without it. So we're going right. to do that and, um, I don't know, have some fun in the car dancing, just doing a little talking. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that handsome lad over there. He is handsome. Oh, we got to move. Mike's got to go. All right. So we're going to head out. All right. <laughs> so we are trying out Meyer grocery pickup today. Um... Big bucks. They actually pickup? have parking spots for park pickup parking. Yeah, you guys know that we have to come here and get our cat litter, and we found <laughs> some cat litter crystals this time. Yeah. Too, so that way it won't smell horrible. Well, it doesn't. It he, it's got a guarantee of like, wow, that's really fuzzy, isn't it? Ten days before it starts to stink, and then. Sometimes I don't have to refill it after 10 days. Yeah, it's nice. Yes. Yeah, so I'm excited. It looks like um, looks like those downy things that I uh, like that. I hope they still I, use the litter after that. Well, I didn't put them in there yet. I know, so I'm just I mean, saying. We could try I hope one. I use the litter with them in there. We'll do an experiment. We'll leave one control and one 
um, manipulated. Sure, sounds good. So we'll put, let's do the left side, the one all the way closest to the uh, wall. Okay. I'll do that one. And then I'll let, I'll let you know if I need to add more litter in. All right. I'm afraid if I open the door though, stuff's gonna go rolling. So what should I do? Should I go check? Because Oh, I gotta go, it I'll go check. You, can you just clean the lens on this? Because it the is lens. fuzzy. If you look at yourself, I look yeah, fuzzy. I was worried too. Oh no. Let me, let me try this guys. Well, that was weird. Let's see. I think I'm looking pretty, I think it looks pretty good now. Yeah. Okay. Did it really roll? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's so, I'm so, she's ticked. so ticked. I was gonna say she's so cute, but clearly she is, she's not happy. I'm gonna block her, that view there. There we go. Um, I had a question on the vlog today, and it's not a call out or anything like that. Um, basically, some someone was asking, um, what's it going to take for me to be really motivated to lose weight? And I'm not offended by this question at all, but I am offended that what I'm doing is not clear enough. Um, I'm not sure how to lose weight in the situation that I'm in quickly enough to show the campers, to show you guys results. Because what I'm doing is we are, aside from today, because it's a special day and I don't need to justify that, but we are eating at home. We are eating HelloFresh meals. We are eating meals that are much better for us to eat than the normal meals. We're not eating a lot of fried foods. Um, we're adding in extra spinach, extra vegetables. We're like specifically doing that. So I would consider what I'm doing a very healthy alternative to what I was, you know, what I was doing before. So... Hmm. Another thing I want to say is I know that it's possible to make time to do everything. But right now in my life, with me at the beck and call of people, you know, who can just email me at any time and say they're ready for an interview, it's very hard for me to leave and go to a facility to work out. Also, when I don't get home until 5 o'clock, I miss my son, and yes, one could argue that if I started to really dive right now into something, I could, you know, prolong, um, you know, have, have a chance for longevity over time, but I'm comfortable with what I'm doing to help my weight loss, and I'm seeing results. I told you guys before, I would put up videos on Saturdays so they didn't interfere with the, the normal vlogs, but I haven't. I haven't felt like it's time for me to make any kind of an update yet. So when I do, I'll make an update, I'll let you know. But for now, just know, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I wanna do and I feel like I'm pretty darn motivated. And I can't even tell you the last time that I've, even when Rachel was here, I, I haven't gone overboard crazy on any sweets. Barely have had any sweets at all. Things going into my body are extra. I got my um, watch I'm burning between, just from walking and not exercising, I'm burning between 700 and 1,000 calories every day, uh, which I think is pretty darn good. Um, so yeah, slowly but surely, but hopefully in the next month I'll feel motivated to give you guys like a complete update. But for right now, just know that I'm happy where I'm at and nothing's gonna take away from that. So blurry. I wiped it off. Maybe it's your glasses. It doesn't look blurry to me. Come here. Let me see. I. It's so blurry. Look at my blurry mouth. Did that it? <laughs> okay. I just talked. I did this whole diatribe answering a question about my my weight loss and everything. And now it's going to be all fuzzy and blurry. I told you that the lens I cleaned, be cleaned it. I did. I even cleaned it on camera. I put my <laughs> mouth up to it and went. I went, you did. Yeah, I <laughs> sure did. Back your throat. I did. Everybody liked it. They've already commented below. Oh. Comment below. <laughs> yeah, I just know they're going to. Mm -hmm. So Carrie just learned all about the Meyer app, and apparently yes. you can't get substitutions, she, which means she said they're very uh, like 
firm on substitution, so you can't really do it. And they were out of the cat litter that we had asked for. So no cat litter! Like, so that's why we came she here! So substitute cat litter. Like, with the shipped app, they can say they don't have cat litter, this cat litter, can mm -hmm. we get you this one instead? And we can say yes and go ahead and whatnot. But she said she thinks because it's prepaid mm -hmm. that they're not, it's not as easy to do through there. I have to say that I didn't use the app. I used actual mm -hmm. And when I went there, there was a button that asked me if I would accept substitutions. And you said no. And I said no. <laughs> because I was afraid that they wouldn't ask me ahead of time. Oh. What the substitution was. Because I didn't know it was right. going to be like... So apparently the ship people are the ones who do the shopping. Yes. I don't even know how that works. I don't know how that works Like, either. what a... Like, what's that called? Um... When you're working for someone and doing something for someone else, mm -mm. ah, someone will know. I don't know. Just don't con know. Con contract breach of. <laughs> anyway, it's like when you work for one company mm -hmm. and you're not allowed to work for another company because they're doing the same thing. But that's kind of what. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, so we are off. We're gonna go to Qdoba, um, and we're gonna pick up some stuff. We're gonna bring some stuff back for Mary. And Meadow as well. Um, mm -hmm. And we're just going to enjoy, like, our trip going. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess we'll let you know what we get from Qdoba. Because I don't even know what I'm going to get. We're going to get Harrison something, too. Are we? Naked burrito, you oh, said. Probably, we're going to try this. Yeah. He's never had Qdoba rice before. So. He hasn't. Well, we'll see. Okay. Crazy hair. <gasps> Crazy hair. Don't you know that I... Love you. How's that? Better. Is it better? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm glad you started filming because I was kind of putting together the mm -hmm. vlog in my head. Mm -hmm. And we have got to be way over time right now. When I say over time, I mean like it's very long. Yeah. Like even longer than what we would normally do. So <laughs> I'm going to just do a Hail Mary here and say I hate to do this, but... We're going to have to find out on the next vlog if Harrison likes his Qdoba or not. Because okay. he's technically napping anyway. So with that being said, I'm going to throw another Hail Mary out and we'll see if Carrie goes for it. <laughs> if not, you'll see what happens when we have different ideas. You ready? Sure. How about on the next video we find out not only if Harrison liked his Qdoba, but why don't we go over some of the baby names that we're struggling with? Because I guess we could do that. We decided to look at some themed, yeah, kind of getting into it a little, but we're, we're having some trouble with baby names right now. So maybe you guys can help us um, mm -hmm. figure out what direction maybe we should go in. So we can talk about some names that we've passed on. We can talk about some names we're stuck on. Sure. And kind of go from there. Okay. So that will be for Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I guess that's going to be it then. So um, thanks for putting up with us today. Thanks for sharing us with your friends. <laughs> thank you for putting up with me today. <laughs> it's been a struggle. You're but, supposed to thank me for putting up with me. Thank Luna. you for putting up with me today. You gotta say it one more time with feeling, babe. It's been a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie and I, I know we're saying goodbye, but Carrie and I had a little... Um, we got to have a, a one of our little discussions that we have. Yes. It ended very well. Uh, we both, you know, got to speak our peace, speak our truths a little bit. Yes. Um, I think we're just kind of both at. It's been. I know that me with my dissertation and everything has been really stressful and um, not sticking to sometimes. Like I went, I went over on our not sticking to the plan. Not sticking to our plans. Like I went over on on chat time yesterday. So I just got to be a little more like aware of that because it does throw the night off. It throws off like doing bath time and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and it's not fair. Mm -hmm. it's but not I fair need to for be you. more vocal about what my plans are too. I can't expect you to read my mind. Right, and that's kind of how our thing went. Mm -hmm. But we do it in a way that's really respectful to each other, and I think that's why we've worked out these last eight years. Yeah. Yeah. So again, here's to eight more. <laughs> At least. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I can't reach you because of the way I'm sitting. Anyway, guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah! <laughs>